looking at all of our layers here, all of these have adjustments and they have masks on the right hand side. We did one over here where we created a hole in the mask and as you can see with the hole in the mask we used a basically a black color on the mask to create that hole. And then around that that shows the object. And you can do the same exact thing if you want to for these effects. For instance if I came in here and I painted around this in black I could hide that effect where it's in black and show that effect where it's in white. So I'll come down here to our colors, I'll switch those over. We have black in the foreground, paintbrush, and let's bring the sides up a little bit. There we go. So as I paint onto this area here, as you can see I'm painting onto this area in black, I am hiding that effect because I'm using that mask that's on that layer. So that layer has a mask on it, and then I can use that mask to show or hide elements of the effect. In this case I'm just going to quickly paint around the sailboat. I'll leave the brightness contrast on the sailboat but I'll take it off everywhere else. This is not something else which you can't do if you use the enhance option but you can do here if you're using the layer mask. You actually can come in here and you can apply your adjustments onto just one piece of your picture. So this will do is this will have the sailboat kind of popped up a little brighter there and the rest of everything else is a little darker and it makes the sailboat pop out a lot more. There we go, it's just about it. There's something else in here somewhere. I'm just watching the mask over here. And I can see I've missed a little bit in here someplace. There we go. So there it is. I've used this to create a mask and then I'm just showing through the image through that mask. Now you can use this if you want to in a different manner. You actually can create a, a mask and then use it to mask out the picture as well. Let me just double click on our background here. There's layer one, zero. I'll, I'll put a new layer in, layer one. So you move down here, let's move layer zero above layer one. Just get it up out of the way. Let's put in a texture map down below here or something different down below. Maybe just another gradient as we can see that easily. Let's do a fill layer, a gradient, and let's just grab something really obvious here. Nice bright yellow orange red. There we go. So this is in behind this picture. Let's now put a mask on this. See all these have masks. This one doesn't. Let's put a mask on this layer. Go up to layer, layer mask, reveal all, that puts in a white mask. If I did hide all, it would be putting in a black mask. So with our reveal all, everything is now being shown. If I use my black paintbrush and paint into this mask, you notice over here, paint into this with black, it's going to hide this picture and show what's in behind it. Kind of like, you know, cutting through. But you can see right there. So I'm actually coming through and, actu and hiding the picture and showing what's in behind. Let's just adjust our brush. I want something a little harder edge than that. Let's go to hard edge brush and I'll bring the size up. That's that's better. Okay, so you can use this then, this masking technique on any of these layers and it actually allows you to hide parts of the image. Let me ask yourself, you know, why don't I just use the eraser and cut out the image and do it that way? Well, here's the big advantage of using a mask. And that's if I come in here and I make a mistake like that. If I did that with an eraser, yeah, I would lose that image. I had to do a real fast undo. But with the mask, I can just switch my colors over here, put white in front, and I can paint in a white and show that back in again. It also allows you a little more control because I can then paint back and forth using the white and the black using the white to show and the black to hide and then really come in and do a very careful adjustment here on the picture. I could come in, you know, zoom in real small, use a real small brush and do a real tight clean edge with the ability to go back and forth to make sure I get that edge just exactly perfect. But again if you look at this over here what I'm doing is I'm painting black onto the mask 
and black is acts as transparent and white acts as opaque. So there you go. That's the way you use the layer mask. It's just like the layer masks on all of our different adjustment layers and pattern and, and fill layers in there. But it, it gives you that op that ability to show or hide selectively areas of a picture. Let me show you something else that's kind of interesting in here. I'm going to make this all white again. Let's just grab our fill bucket. I'll fill it in a white. There it goes. So we're back to pure white again. And I'm going to put a gradient on this this time. It's a fun little trick. Let's go over here to our gradient. And let's just grab our default. And I want to go black to white. Now, as you recall, black is showing and white is hiding. So I'll do my gradient and gradient tool right here. It'll be black at the bottom, white at the top, and you can see what happens. There it is. It's actually showing through transparency based upon the amount of black in the picture. So you can do gray tones as well for partially transparent areas. You don't have to work purely black and white, you can do gray tones as well and do these kind of interesting techniques. So the color here is in behind this picture, but it's being shown through by using this gradient map placed here on this layer mask. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.